we await the start now of the women's 880-yard run. Let's take a look at the records in this event. Mary Slaney, the record holder, both world and American, 159-7 in this event. It was sent 11 years ago, back in 1980. And here is the field. Meredith Rainey, one of the favorites in this one. Charmaine Crooks, Diane, Diana Richburg, Kim Tony, upstart out of Arizona State, Chris Morgan, Joyce Margiewicz, Laura Chappell, and Michelle Taylor. Chapel, let me correct that right now. Meredith Rainey, 22 years of age, New York City, Harvard University grad, all Ivy from the 50-yard dash to the mile. Amazing talent, working almost full-time in New York City in a publishing firm, and she is also training with Fred Thompson, as is Diane Dixon at Pratt Institute. Now trying for her fourth Olympic team, a three-time Canadian. Very, very strong at 400 meters and also at 800, classy Charmaine Crooks. And alongside of her, Diana Richmond, this is a Richburg, rather, as you see in the blue. In the purple, that is Kim Tony, collegian and a former wonderful high school runner out of Arizona State. Joyce Margalowitz, who wears number seven. And another look at Meredith Rainey. And uh, Meredith Rainey, as you mentioned, she goes to Harvard, 1990 NCAA, indoor 800 meters. She has won just about everything that she has set her mind on winning, fourth on the all-time NCAA outdoor 800 meter list. So there is a look at the starting field. First NCAA title ever won by a Harvard woman. She has excellent speed, 51 plus for 400 meters. She is really a talent that has his excellent chance to make it to our Olympic team in Barcelona in 1992. And didn't she just show up at Harvard and say, I want to run? She was a walker. They don't have scholarships there type thing. So she walks out to the track and says, this is what I've done and worked hard. Charmaine Crooks from Canada really starred as a 400 meter runner for years. Former Pan American Games champion has moved up with great success. Most 400 meter runners who are very, very good can also run well at the 800 meter distance if they're willing to do some stamina training. Richburg, a solid American, an Olympian, uh, very fine talent in the blue right there for the United States, consistently one of America's best middle distance runners. As she had her best years, that is the question. And we are underway, and Meredith Rainey gets out right now along with Charmaine Brooks. There, one, two, with Richburg in third place. Back to Michelle Taylor. So it is Rainey, Crooks, Taylor, and now moving up into third place is Diana Richburg. Richburg trains up in Rochester, New York. Not too many athletes get that far north in the United States and, and run really well as she does. Rainey controlling the race. Staying out of harm's way, so is everybody, but a smaller field here makes it a little bit easier. Charmaine Crooks continuing in second place. Richburg in third, Taylor in fourth. Barry, it's a good pace. It's solid. Not sub two, but it's a good pace. Now it is Richburg who moves up on the shoulder of Meredith Rainey, but Rainey continuing to control the pace. Coming toward three laps remaining in this one. Rainey, Richburg, Crooks, Taylor. Three laps to go. Three laps. Crooks looks very good. Very comfortable in third place. Michelle Taylor had a fine career here in Southern California in college. And now Richburg has passed Rainey. 63-4 for the first quarter. And it is Richburg now ahead of Rainey with Crooks in third and Taylor remaining in fourth place. And those seem to be the four contenders. Two to go. Richburg continues to lead from Rainey. And now Rainey looming up alongside Richburg. And here comes Crooks sneaking in on the inside. So it is Crooks who'll go by on the inside. She has had the best of it. Crooks takes the lead now. Richburg and Rainey running second and third, but an excellent move by Crooks, who moved when she had the opportunity to move on the inside. One lap to go now, but come to the bell lap. It is Crooks, Richburg, and Rainey. And Crooks putting some distance between herself and Richburg. Rainey passing Richburg now for second, but the race now is shaping up between Crooks and Rainey, and here comes Rainey. It is Crooks trying to hold off Rainey. Around the final turn, Crooks continuing to hold off Rainey. performance to hold off a hard-charging Meredith Rainey in 2.06.3 unofficially. One year's experience at 800 meters. I've said it for years, Barry, but frequently your best event could be the one longer than you might think it is. 
very she ran comfortably in third place for most of the race the first lane opened up and your seasoned experience as she heads to trying to make her fourth Olympic team shows she waited she made her move she's run very very well indoors Diana Richburg didn't have the speed to try and match these two over the last lap Meredith Rainey closed well look at the lean notice how she drifted out of the second lane to make it tougher on Meredith Rainey to close 62-9 in the final quarter for the winner watch your close watch your move from the second lane almost to the third here she's well out in the second and it cuts off Rainey ever so slightly look at that she's almost at the edge of the third lane by the finish line so not only a win but a very gutsy win for Charmaine Crooks she made her move just at the right time she picked up two runners on the inside Charmaine Crooks wins it 206-3 ahead of Meredith Rainey who made a pretty good stretch run at her but Crooks had just enough to win Diana Richburg finishing in third place so Charmaine Crooks running just about a perfect race and she needed every inch she had to spare by picking up ground on the inside. 4.14.89 for Belay Patches.